Stop slandering Emirates business class. If you're not super deep in the frequent flyer or miles and points crowds, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But among these people, Emirates business class for some inexplicable reason has a bad reputation. Listen, their 777 seat kind of sucks. I've reviewed that and I even reviewed their A380 business class during COVID when I said it was almost equal to Qatar Airways. What if I told you I still feel that way? What if I told you Emirates business class is one of my favorite business classes in the world. Let me show you why on today's flight. This video must be sponsored by Emirates, right? Did I get this flight for free? No. In fact, I don't have a single contact at Emirates. And as always, this flight was completely paid by me, myself, and I. I'll share exactly how I got this ticket for $750 at the end, but there is really no reason why I'd want to rave about them other than wanting to help you guys make informed decisions. After all, that's what I've been doing for the past seven years, flying over 150 airlines to give you the most balanced balanced and honest information possible, hopefully with a little entertainment value along the way. I feel like it's getting redundant saying today's adventure starts at Dubai International Airport, but it does again. As a flight reviewer, this is the place to be. Emirates is trying to digitalize the flying experience as much as possible, so they urge you to do self-check-in with a little help, of course. There is a separate immigration and security for first and business class passengers, and if departing from the A gates like me, you then need to head to the train, which takes you there in a matter of minutes. You're let out by the business and first class lounges with a first class lounge on level two and the business class lounge on level three. Just like their first class lounges, the business class lounges at Emirates Dubai Hub occupy pretty much the entire floor. And and feel unlike any other lounges in the world. The seating choices are overwhelming, but everything is pretty much taken now during rush hour. There are all types of services from a spa, not included, to a kid's playroom, included, to a minimum of three dining areas, all serving pretty much the same extensive breakfast buffet. Personally, I wouldn't extend my layover to spend time in this lounge, but it's a nice enough place to pass time. Perhaps the coolest amenity is that on certain flights, far from all, but more often on A380s, you can board directly from the lounge. There are literally gates inside the lounge. You scan your boarding pass here, then take an elevator straight down to the jetway without seeing anyone else. Pretty exclusive if you ask me. Today's flight is operated by this sort of ugly yet absolutely amazing looking special livery A380. Lucky me. The Emirates A380 comes in three different configurations when it comes to premium cabins, and today I'm on by far the most common of those. I'm gonna ignore the economy class lower deck for today since I don't have a seat map prepared for that, but upstairs there are 14 first class suites, and then 76 business class seats in two cabins in a one-to-one -one configuration. What's so amazing about Emirates is that they are incredibly consistent when it comes to their seats. Every single A380 in their fleet has this exact seat, just with some small changes and finishes. This massive cabin honestly isn't somewhere I'd like to sit because it feels a bit like a dorm. So this rear cabin is my preference, especially the first row, which is fantastic. I'm in 26J today, the very last seat where noise from the bar could be an issue, but today it thankfully isn't. Generally, the odd rows are preferable since those seats are closer to the windows, but the even rows are fine too, as you'll see. In the middle, couples or families or friends can choose these honeymoon seats and sit really close together, which is great. Let me show you this cabin now as we hop on board. Welcome to arguably the most iconic airplane in the world these days, the Emirates A380. As we head way back to my seat, check out the classic Emirates finishes. I'd never want something like this at home, but on an airplane, I love the gaudy opulent design. This is Oscar's seat, 25K, and this is mine, 26J. Two very different products in terms of privacy, proximity to the window, and overall feel. A bit of business class 101 trivia. Why are the seats staggered like this? Because your legs go under the side console of the seat in front when reclined, so some are closer to the window and some, like mine, are basically in the aisle. This is one of the better staggered seats out there since it feels relatively private despite not having so much separation from the aisle. You have your own little non-chilled mini bar down here, a unique feature to Emirates, and above that, a storage compartment. There's also copious storage along the windows on the A380. The seat controls are easily accessible, as are all your 
your charging ports and the remote, both of which are well placed. It's funny that they even offer a remote because you also have a detachable tablet that controls the entertainment, which is touchscreen, so three ways to control it. Not bad. Overall, this is an above average seat made a lot better by the fact that it's on an A380. As we settle in, the crew pass by with the choice of Vauclicot, orange juice, or mixed juice. I ask, what is the mixed juice? The flight attendant sighs, rolls her eyes, and says, guava and mint. Bombastic side eye. The thing I can't help being bothered by on Emirates is how inconsistent their service is. On average, I find the service to be average. Shocker. The frequency with which you get bad service on Emirates is far too high, though. I've had remarkable service in all their cabins and frankly terrible service in all their cabins including first. As you'll see on this flight, there are two amazing ones and one less amazing, so I guess it's still a net positive. A few minutes later, scented hot towels are distributed. Soon enough, we're pushing back and being welcomed on board with the announcement that there are crew from 20 countries, 20, on board today's flight, speaking 14 languages. As we taxi out, I have a look at today's menu. People like to complain about Emirates catering, but I have no idea what people are talking about. Who are they comparing it to? The menu is incredibly impressive for a six hour flight and so is my vegan meal as you'll see. One of my favorite features on the A380 is the tail camera and I can't wait to see our special livery from above except the tail camera doesn't work, no. Anyway, let's start the journey to Frankfurt and see why the in-flight experience is so good. Stay tuned. Traveling so intensely can be quite the emotional roller coaster. And many times Oscar and I don't have anyone else around to talk to. That's one of the many reasons I'm so excited to tell you about today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it happens to be 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a huge range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether that's via chat, text, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for you for some reason, you can switch to a new one for no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist that is custom-picked for you with more scheduling flexibility and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash nonstop Dan. That's better H E L P dot com slash nonstop Dan or click the link at the top of the description. Immediately after the seatbelt sign is turned off, the crew come by offering to put mattress pads on everyone's seats. Thick, juicy mattress pads. I take this opportunity to recline fully, and my goodness, this is as close to a good business class bed as you'll get. It's spacious by the feet and shoulders, the bedding is cozy and adds a lot of comfort, so combine that with the low noise level of the E380 and the individual air vents, and you're good. That is unless there's a party in the lounge. No, not the lounge on the ground, this lounge. This is reason 564 to love the A380. Here you can socialize with crew, network with other passengers, and even have a little free Polaroid photo shoot. I get to know both Anna Maria and Beatrice, two absolute stars on this flight. Soon enough it's meal time, but not before I decide what to watch. Emirates has the biggest selection of entertainment of any airline in the world. I opt to check out the show The Flight Attendant, and my goodness, why haven't I started watching this sooner? As I enjoy that, the meal begins with breakfast all served on one tray. Not the most luxurious presentation, but the food is right up my alley. Avocado, chili, tomato, grilled peach, balsamic glaze, what a breakfast. The fruit is good, and so is the soy yogurt. Overall, I think this is pretty much as good as in-flight breakfast gets. Stay tuned to see one mistake I always make when flying with Emirates.
Every single time I fly Emirates, literally every time, I'm stupid enough not to enter my SkyMiles number in my booking. Why should you do that? Because it gets you free Wi-Fi. If you don't, you'll need to pay, but at least the prices are decent. One thing that's sort of a shame is that Emirates doesn't provide amenity kits on daytime flights. However, everything you need is available in the lavatories, and there are four here at the back, so there's never a way to use them. Also, how stunning is this? I spent most of the rest of the flight working, having delicious drinks, and just enjoying myself. I grabbed some vegan jelly beans from the bar, nice. There are also many more healthy snacks available. Oscar does a little photo shoot for me and goes down on one knee while taking the photos. So suddenly the crew comes by and goes, oh my god, is he proposing? That just shows you what the reality is on Emirates on board compared to what most people probably think. And of course, we love to see it. This crew member later brings us some lock home from first class. See, the crew making a small gesture like this can really go such a long way. About two hours before landing, the lunch service begins. I opt for a coffee since I'm exhausted and it's served with a full carton of oat milk and some nuts and olives. I mean, wow. The appetizer is served with some delicious bread, an industry-leading Emirates salad. They are so good. And this quinoa and roasted mushroom dish. The main course is some incredible pasta, the same I actually had in Emirates first class a couple months back. Such a treat, because this is among the best pasta dishes in the skies, stuffed with flavorful mushrooms and a sweet and tangy tomato sauce. For dessert, two vegan cakes, one from the menu, the chocolate mousse cake, and this pistachio and cinnamon apple non-dairy cheesecake. Emirates offers some of the highest quality catering around, in my opinion, even if it's not as gourmet or beautifully presented as some of their competitors in the region. Here's a quick look at some of my neighbor's meals, just as a point of comparison. In what feels like no time, we're approaching Frankfurt and I'm so sad the flight is over already. The as I called her bad apple of flight attendants comes by 40 minutes before landing barking, put your laptop away. Now that the crew are preparing for arrival, I have to stop Beatrice as she comes by and thank her for the amazing service she provided since unfortunately Emirates crew, even in first class, doesn't say goodbye to passengers like on some of the world's other top airlines. This is one of the biggest missed opportunities for me since it's the perfect way to round off the flight and also get feedback. It elevates the service a lot and is something I would personally love to see Emirates implement. So overall, Emirates continues to be one of my favorite airlines and besides the slightly inconsistent service, I believe their A380 business is among the best in the world. At least top 10, maybe even top 7 or 8. Flying Emirates regardless of cabin class is always just fun. It doesn't feel pretentious, but it also doesn't feel cheap in any way, which nowadays is unfortunately getting more and more uncommon since airlines are cutting costs. On that note, how did I pay just $750 for this ticket? Well, let's hop over to real life Dan for him to explain. Okay, so the moment many of you have been waiting for, how did I pay for this ticket? Well, I'm gonna talk about them again. I always do, even though it's not sponsored, I don't have any relationship with them, but Air Canada Aeroplan is the way to go. They have over 45 partners. One of them is Emirates. So I redeemed points through them, through Air Canada, that is 62,000 points to be specific from Dubai to Frankfurt and about 60 US dollars in taxes. The great thing about their points and the reason I rave about them so much is that anyone in the world can buy them. They have a sale on them about every two to three months where you can buy them for as little as 1.3 US cents each, which is incredible. You can make your own calculations based on that. In the US right now, a credit card I make everyone I know sign up for is offering an historically high sign up bonus of 60,000 points. That's way higher than it's ever been. I think it was like 30,000 when I signed up for it a few years ago. This is an awesome car to check and out. And keep in mind that just that sign-up bonus is pretty much enough for that one-way ticket. So if you want to support me, if you live in the US, and if you want to read more about that card, please consider doing it via the link in the description below. It is one of the best ways you can support me. So on that note, thank you so much for watching, guys. And until I see you all in the next video, fly safe.